fingers of mist caress the rolling hills. The tree-covered mountains, rising toward the sky, teem with life. Time seems to pause by the silent, serene lake. Flowers paint the hills with swathes of color. These are the scenes awaiting visitors to the Royal Project. Visitors to the Royal Project are immersed in the unique culture of the ethnic hill tribe groups and surrounded by a dazzling array of temperate climate fruits, flowers and vegetables. Both Thai and foreign tourists are coming to the Royal Project areas in increasing numbers. The Royal Project was created by His Majesty the King in the year 1969. His intention was to alleviate the poverty of the hill tribe people, to prevent slash and burn cultivation, and to solve the problem of heroin production in the kingdom. These objectives were to be achieved by the introduction of alternative crops, support in marketing and distribution, and programs for education, health and social development. The Royal Project has been working in the Thai Highlands for 35 years and has achieved dramatic success. Neither poverty, nor slash and burn cultivation, nor opium poppy can be found anywhere inside the project areas. Where there was once bare hills, land is covered by new forest and fruit trees. By cultivating these and other cash crops, farmers in the Royal Project can earn excellent incomes. Visitors to the Royal Project can come to see the results of His Majesty the King's remarkable project. The Royal Project works in the provinces of Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Lampun, Mae Hon Song and Payao. Its work is carried out in 37 development areas and four research stations supporting more than 100,000 hill tribe people. Most of the Royal Project development areas are situated in highland areas. With their stunning scenery and cool climates, they are attractive destinations for tourists throughout the year. Visitors to the Royal Project come for many reasons. They come to learn about His Majesty the King's success in helping the Hill Tribe people to abandon opium poppy cultivation in favour of alternative crops. They come to explore the beautiful highland forests and to learn about the cultures of the 15 different Hill Tribe groups in the Royal Project areas. Many stay overnight in the Hill Tribe villages to get even closer to the Hill people. Many tourists visit several development centers in one day. One popular route is to travel from Doi Intanon to Kun Wang, on to Mae Sapok, and finally to Tung Luang. A second is to start at Nong Kiao and travel to Doi Ang Kang and then on to Mok Jam and from there to Hoi Luk. At the start of the Doi Intanon route, visitors usually stop to visit the Karen people at Ban Sop Hat or Ban Mae Klang Luang. These small villages offer the visitors the opportunity to experience briefly 
the peaceful and simple Karen lifestyle. Visitors may stop at the Hmong village of Ban Kun Klang before arriving at Intanon Royal Agricultural Research Station. The station specializes in research in flowers and small fruit trees. The cool climate in the region of Intanon is ideal for temperate zone plants, which can be grown throughout the entire year. You can see such plants in the research station's house of ferns, which features a collection of ferns gathered from all over the world, or in the vegetable plots of the Hmong villages at Ban Kun Klang. Travelling on from Doi Intanon Research Station, we reach the Kun Wang Royal Project Development Centre, 19 kilometres away. Chrysanthemums bloom all year round at Kun Wang, and visitors can sample the culture and environment of the local villages through eco-tourism programmes. These are run by the local people, mainly Hmong and Karen, with the support of the Royal Project Foundation. After Kun Wang, visitors usually travel on to Mae Wang district. On the road, they can stop to view the colourful beds of Anthurium and the experimental passion fruit plots of the Karen people at Mae Sapok Development Centre. From there, they travel on to Tung Luang Development Centre, where they can see lettuce cultivation and the centre's ostrich and rusa deer breeding programme. After Kun Wang comes Ban Mare Hare, with its Karen date and pear plantations. And then the Wat Jan Development Centre. Wat Jan boasts the most beautiful pine forests in Thailand and offers yet more agro-tourism activities. Tourists can also visit the Wat Jan Support Centre, where Karen handicraft is displayed and sold. The second route is from Nong Kiao to Hoi Luk via Doi Ang Kang and Mok Jam. Many people travel straight to Ang Kang, not realizing that there are several development centers along the way. On the Chiang Mai Fang Highway, one can turn left at the Mueng Ngai intersection to reach the Nong Kiao Royal Development Area. At Nong Kiao, there are Musa, Aka, Lahu and Kachin people and visitors may learn about the Kachin people by visiting the Kachin Cultural Center. A mountain road leads from Nongkiao to Doi Ankang Royal Agricultural Research Station. Doi Ankang is famous for being the first of the research stations in His Majesty the King's Royal Project. Ang Kang is also the Royal Project's flagship for tourism, with its cool highland climate, beautiful flowers and fruit orchards. It is a major attraction for national and international tourists. Ang Kang has extensive facilities for tourists, including guest houses, restaurants and a luxurious Amari Nature Resort. Ang Kang also has several camping sites for those wanting to get even closer to nature. Tourists may visit the Palong at Ban Nol Air or the Musa at Ban Kop Dong. At Ban Nol Air, children are always on hand to welcome visitors and to guide them through the village. Traveling downhill from Ang Kang, you reach the Fang and Mare Ai district of Chiang Rai. After crossing the River Kok at Ta Don, you reach the Mok Jam development area, home to eight different hill tribe groups. There, tourists can sample local cooking, including Thai Lur's dish made of Amo Foro Halus or Stanley's water tub roots. On the way back to Chiang Mai on the Fang Chiang Mai Highway, you can take a break at Hoi Luk Development Center 
just before reaching Qiangdao district. Situated close to the main road, the development center includes a small cafe restaurant and a doi cam store where visitors can purchase royal project produce. Visitors can stay overnight at a low-cost guest house and visit the cultural center where they can see cultural shows and displays of Hmong and Akka handicraft. Not all of the development centers and research stations are quite as well prepared for tourists as Ang Kang. However, all of them give visitors the opportunity to learn about the lifestyles of the Hill Tribe people and the remarkable new farming systems introduced by His Majesty the King. Visiting the Royal Project is like the Royal Project itself, a unique Highland journey.